Good afternoon, welcome to the Midday Mall for Monday the 17th of May. Uh, continuing to read through the book of Numbers, today I was reading Numbers chapter 26, which begins with God approaching Moses and telling him, take a census of the whole Israelite community by families. And we then have a chapter of Israelite tribes and clans and numbers. Um, and some of the less exciting parts of scripture to read, but it ends up with the following, that Moses takes uh, the census and they counted the Israelites um, where, as they were told to. And then in verse 64, it says, not one of them was among those counted by Moses and Aaron the priest when they counted the Israelites in the desert of Sinai. For the Lord had told those Israelites they would surely die in the wilderness and not one of them was left except Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, son of Nun. And God had said to the Israelites back then that because they hadn't trusted him, they were going to die in the wilderness. They wouldn't get to see the promised land. And that was exactly what happened. And so we need to remember that, that God is a God of his word. And in the same way that we see here, that when he promised judgment on people, that came to pass. We also know that when God promises blessing on people, that will come to pass as well. And so when God promises us blessings, we must can hold on to that, we can rely on it, and we can trust in that because God is always true to his word. And the second thought that came to me as I was reading about the, the census was um, a little later in the scriptures we have David taking a census and, and being judged by God for it. Now Moses was instructed by God to do it, David wasn't. And he couldn't look back and say, oh but Moses took a census, that must be okay. Um, there's nothing innately right or wrong in the census. It was clearly the motivation for doing it. Moses was being, um, was honoring God and doing what God told him. David, it seems, was trying to calculate his military strength. Um, and God is saying, trust in me only. Don't worry about your military strength. And as Christians, we need to remember that, that we, we can never compare ourselves to other people. And the fact that somebody did something or went somewhere or read a book or whatever and they were richly blessed by it therefore if I do the same thing I must expect the same outcome now it doesn't work that way God will deal with us completely differently so remember that um, and it's always useful as Christians or as human beings never to compare ourselves to other people because there will always be people that will be better and people that will be worse and we'll either feel um, get arrogant and boastful or else you'll feel sad and depressed we always need to just look to God and say God I'm following you and I want to be closer to you and I need your blessing because God will deal with each of us completely differently so know that um, look to God uh, praise God for what's happened in other people's lives but don't compare it and trust that God will work in his own way in your life in his time be encouraged by that and know his blessing.